that was what was in the pack for $108. And because the haul at Costco was mostly about getting meat, because we had no meat at all. And finally, this is the fridge. So we're gonna trial this. And, and I've just roasted up the leftover sweet potatoes and potatoes. And, and then if we go down the back, the new organizing system in here has worked so well. Zesties, I'm Michelle May and welcome or welcome back to my channel Zesty Girl. Tonight I'm really excited to share with you what happens after my Costco haul and I'm really excited to share it with you tonight because the first time ever it's taken me three days to get everything put away and organized and that's because I've been super busy with work and super busy with a couple of extra videos this week, a couple of collabs that I've done which have been fantastic so if you want to check those out one, one was this one and one was this one. Okay, so what I did when I got home was basically threw everything into the two refrigerators that we have and, and just left everything else out because the children wanted to put it away and I went, no, 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 because I want to get everything super organized because we've got a long weekend and I wanted to really enjoy the long weekend with the family. The video is filmed across three days. I did different things on different days. Like I clearly had to get the meat into the refrigerator really quickly, into the freezer really quickly because most of the Costco haul was meat and that's why it was so expensive so if you want to see the before and then the after of where everything goes when we, after we've done a huge massive costco haul then let's do this my costco that i have to put away still waiting to be put away okay this is a hot mess this is because we didn't have time to put the haul away properly so we just shoved it anywhere and now I have to fix this mess up and get it organized okay so I bought this huge pack of lamb from Costco it was $108 for oh, I'll show you and so I'm just bagging it into separate bags so so far we've got 10 times lamb cutlets eight lamb chops four four quarter chops and one roast and there's still another roast, many more full quarter chops and there's lamb shanks underneath. So yeah, still a lot of meat here to go. Okay, so we ended up with 10 cutlets, eight beautiful lamb chops, four, four, times, <laughs> four times four quarters. I've put four four quarters in each bag. So we've got three bags of those. So 12 four quarter chops, two lamb shanks, one stew, and two really, really nice really 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 nice lamb roasts decent really decent size too that was what was in the pack for 108 dollars okay so that's created 11 meals out of the pork and the lamb and that's going into the freezer okay so not really 11 because by the time i put vegetables or rice or potatoes or whatever with the meal these this meat will be stretched over until the next day with leftovers so probably half half the meals can be and half the meals can't be so we're probably looking at maybe 16 meals from this lot of meat okay so we were low on chicken and now i bought some chicken thighs and two whole chickens so that will go into here so this is the three organic minces so i'm just going to put those into the freezer as well okay so i got four lots of pork mince out of the big tray so that can go in the freezer and then three lots of chicken thighs from the big pack so they're going into the freezer as well. No, I forgot that I put the other mints in there. So 26 meals out of the meat that I purchased. So I forgot the whole chicken, so that's 28 meals. 28 meals from the meat purchased from a Costco.
<laughs> Full pasta. Okay, so this is under our stairs. This is the potatoes and the sweet potatoes and the onions, but I've just used up the last of them so I can put the new ones in, except for this guy here. He's a little bit dead looking. And I've just roasted up the leftover sweet potatoes and potatoes and they'll be eaten tonight with dinner. Okay, and there it's all filled up. Sweet potatoes, potatoes. I don't have any onions, so I need to go and get some onions from Aldi. Down here is from, I bought some Powerade for the boys basketball maybe three Costco hauls ago. So there's two left because I don't let them have them very often. Um, only during a basketball match. And a couple of ginger beers left. And then dog food stacked up here. And then if we go down the back. Now I know you guys probably think I'm really super stocked after my Costco haul but I'm really not. Not in this type of thing because most of my last Costco haul was meat and the expense was really was meat so this these type of pantry items I get from Aldi so I did get this from Costco so one is in the fridge because we needed it and one's here that's from Aldi last trip the cacao powder is stored here gluten-free wheat fix the gum the tomato ketchup still some cereal that I bought a couple of weeks ago chestnuts, mustard because we don't really have mustard, and some pickles. Tuna which I got from Costco that Jessica said I would never use and I still haven't used it so I'm going to do a pasta bake with it this week. Uh, a little bit of coconut water is left. The two stir fry sauces that I got from Aldi just in case I'm stressed for time or stretched for time and I can use these to make really quick meals. That's all tins of tomatoes. We've got some gluten free spaghetti, one tin of lentils, some more gluten-free pasta, three lots of pasta, so we need more pasta because we eat so much pasta. Pasta sauces, we've got 10, we've got 10 pasta sauces, so that's fine. And coffee we're running short on. And then we've got the chips that we got from Costco and some muesli bars. And this week we'll need to get toilet paper and handy towels because we're really low. Okay, so I'm unpacking the water. how it looks okay and this I'm going to bag into smaller bags here is the fruit bowl we are running these apples that I got that are still great but they I got them from Aldi a couple of hauls back though two dollars 79 for about eight or nine maybe nine apples it's really cheap um, I thought that Tom would eat them because he just loves pink ladies but no he finds them just soft and soggy and powdery so um, so now I've got a lot of apples so I'm going to make a huge apple crumble with those and all the children love apple crumble so I'll make a huge apple crumble and because it's a long weekend they can have it for breakfast if they want or have it for dessert it won't go very far everyone will love that so we'll use up some that way we'll juice some but we'll use them up here's one of his beloved pink ladies Okay, the pantry, so we organized the pantry, uh, if you've seen my, my pantry organization video that I did maybe a month ago now. The new organizing system in here has worked so well, we've been able to maintain it. Now, I've just tidied it up a bit, but it wasn't too bad. So, I've put everything away now. What I'm loving, I'm just loving these containers up here. Um, so I just love that up there. So this is all what we keep out here. This is the gluten-free wheat bix and normal wheat bix. We've got some dates there. And just tin food and pasta sauce and things that I use all the time. I've just kept out here. Some granola there. I'm just trying to think of what's new. I keep all my beans here. So it's baked beans, kidney beans, black beans are at the back. Okay, and we've got oils and down, down there. And then the instant rice in here and the bread. Now, this is new, so we've got storage down here that's working really well. That was from Kmart, it's working brilliantly. 
the eggs that I bought from Costco, you saw I bought, so I bought 36 eggs from Costco the other day, organic, and this is all that's left. So I'm going to need to get some more eggs. Now this is, we usually keep our cucumbers and our tomatoes in the fridge because it's so hot here normally, but it's winter. So we're going to try, everyone keeps saying to me, keep your cucumbers and tomatoes at room temperature. So we're going to trial this and just see how it goes. So that's new for us. So this is looking super organized. Uh, we need some things from Aldi, like I need to stock up from Aldi and I'll tell you about that in a minute. And finally this is the fridge, so it's super organized now for the weekend. So up the top here we've got cheese, we've got parmesan cheese, we've got the maple syrup, a little bit of salsa left in here and the new one at the back, the boys yogurt from Aldi, dog food, kimchi. This is um, this is some treats we got from Costco. This is those other chocolate treats that we got from Costco. At the back is fresh the fresh pineapple that I cut up. Ham behind it is also a different type of ham, and that also is shredded cheese. We don't have any yogurts at the moment. I've just got two, so I need to get some yogurt from Aldi. Uh, what's that? That's a couple of muffins that are left over from Jessica's baking. Some bacon there and these are treats for the weekend. The creme brulee. The creme brulee. And then this is the vegetables that we've got from Costco. So we've got peppers, we've got mushrooms, there's some cabbage there from another haul, some beetroot from another haul and the asparagus and the broccoli that I bought. And then I've bagged the spinach into smaller bags because we use it for everything, as you know. Two cos lettuce hearts left from last Costco haul and three avocados ready to eat. More spinach and a pumpkin. So that's all we have there. And because the haul at Costco was mostly about getting meat because we have no meat at all, I'll show you how much meat we've got. So we've got the three organic mints there, two lots of frozen broccoli left over from the last haul and some pastry to make pie. Okay, this is the chicken kebabs. One, two lots of those. <laughs> three lots of those. Two whole chickens and then and then that underneath that, underneath on the chicken shelf is a bag of chicken thighs, all separated. And then we've got the pork mince, pork mince, pork mince, and then all of the lamb that I showed you. So all of the meat that I purchased made 30 meals. The salmon is there, ready to eat. And we've still got some blueberries, organic blueberries for our smoothies. And some frozen green beans some frozen mixed vegetables and a little bit of kale. That's it. This fridge in our laundry has nothing in it at the moment. It has some carrots and some shredded cheese. And this extra freezer we have has a few bags of pork belly. One, two, three, four, five from my last Costco haul. So that's all bagged, ready to eat. And the bread, frozen bread. I forgot about the rice, so I've added the rice here next to the potatoes and the sweet potato. And stored my baking trays down here with the lollies for my customers there. And that's everything. It's done. So while I've been doing all of that, so I roasted up some leftover potato and sweet potato, as I told you, and a bit of turkey bacon that needed to be used up, and I created a turkey mince lasagna as well for dinner tonight. Because if I'm in the kitchen for a while, I like to sort of make use of my time. So I'm going to create, I'm going to go and make up some scrambled egg and create some fridge breakfast for the next few days for the boys. Okay, so I did decide to make some scrambled egg and make the breakfast. So I got out of the potatoes and the bacon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven breakfasts. These ones here, a potato, turkey bacon and a scrambled egg. This one's with sweet potato and bacon. This one's the same, and these two are for Jess, just with sweet potato and egg. And then I may manage to have enough to do, I had two fried eggs that I made up. So I've got two gluten-free, so this is fried egg and turkey bacon and cheese, gluten-free muffins, and two normal ones. 
and then I also ended up with some potatoes, some leftover potatoes that I'll use for dinner tonight with salmon for my husband and I. And that's all done. Beautiful. And there they are tucked into the fridge and the muffins, I'm just using, putting them into the yogurt container. I'll be gone tomorrow so it doesn't really matter. Beautiful. Okay, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. See ya. Bye. I can see all the signs I tried to fill in